So I went down to my stash area and I got some twine and I am going to use the twine. I'm probably going to like unwrap it and use it as like grass down here. But what I do need to do is I need to cover this, like paint it, like the background so that when I put it on, you don't see um, the white. So I'm just gonna measure up an inch, make a line, a light line. And what am I going to get? I think I'm going to get the cheddar. Let's see what happens when I put in cheddar. And I don't know what this is going to make. And the olive. Get a flat. Load it up with water. Dock into light. So I'm going to take that cheddar. I'm just going to dip a little bit into the into the olive. It's just making the um it's making the cheddar docker. I'm going to throw in some lemon into the mix and see what happens. That's what I want, like a streaky, so it's a little bit of everything over there. So where's my line? Here it is. And I'm putting that on straight. So it's all different, a little bit of everything in the color, the strips of color here. Very good. Now, not only did I go downstairs and get this, I also did something else, which has nothing to do with painting. So I went into the bathroom and I put on, so I put on a mask, a facial mask. What better time to do this than while I'm sitting here, while you're sitting there. And so there I go. Let's go back down. So that is wet now. Um, let's give it a dry. Some people have this heat gun, and there are other heat guns too. You could even use your hair dryer if you just hold down your piece and, and blow dry it. You don't even have to do a hot, you can do a cool. Just make sure that everything else doesn't go flying around. Okay, the next step is going to be putting this on here. So I need to make some lines on the pumpkins for the indentations. Is that what you call it, an indentation? So I am always looking for something to use so I can make things even. And I think I have a see-through plate. And I do have a see-through plate. So this is good because you can see through it. So with my pencil, light pencil line, I'm going to make a line there. That would be a shading line. And I would do the same on this side. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I could also make a third layer there and bring it up or just leave it like this and do my lines. I don't know. I could even go again. Let's do this one. Just doing it by eye. That looks good. All right, now that's gonna go off just a little bit. That will go down there. There will be um, stems coming out from there. So I think I would like to darken this up a bit. Get my water. Wet the surface, and I have that cheddar in there with some yellow. I'm going to mix that up, add some more water, and have a paper towel handy in case you need to um, 
wipe up some of your drippage. Oh, that's working out well. Come around that side. After you do something, or after I do something, when I'm doing live time like this, I say to myself, oh, I could have done that a different way. But you know what? When you're creating a project from scratch, it doesn't always work out that way. And when I'm teaching this, I certainly can't do it now, but when I'm teaching this, if while making it, I, I say to myself, oh, I should have done it that way, I will tell my students, you know, to do it a different way, like it's better. All right, that looks good. I'm going to put light in there afterwards. I think on this one, I'm going to wet it. And I'm going to come down, here we go, and that other piece of um, the watercolor paper gives me a guide. So, there. Looking good. And then, I'm going to get mostly yellow on my paintbrush. Oh, you know what? I didn't wet it and it's very dry and I want to wet it. 